Hey y'all, I have a big old sweet potato here and we're gonna talk about all the different ways that you can prepare sweet potato. First off, you can leave the skin on. I like to leave the skin on. Sometimes I might have you peel it or you might just wanna peel it. So that's where your peeler comes in handy. Nothing terribly difficult about that, right? Pretty sure we've all peeled a veggie a time or two. Then the other thing to know though is you do probably wanna take these ends off. Just make it a little prettier. And like with any of our kind of root vegetables, the biggest issue is we wanna make them into more usable chunks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this in half, give myself a little bit more usable chunk here. So I, if I can, if I want to, I could do slices from here and get pieces like that. Most likely though, as I go down, I would want to cut it in half and then cut slices keep more even size. That's the biggest thing when we're making pieces out of anything is we want the sizes to be relatively even. So once I've cut it in half, I could, if I wanted to, cut it down lengthwise like that and then cut it in sort of large chunks. There you go. Most likely though, most of the time, what, I'm, what we'll probably need is, if we're gonna be doing this, smaller pieces. And so if you cut rounds, and stack them on top of each other. And then relatively even cuts across. And I turn it. And I do relatively even cuts this way. I create a bunch of small, relatively even cubes. And that is great. You see they're all relatively even sized. You can, they're gonna cook evenly like that. They're gonna cook quickly like that. So that's a good one. But you know, sometimes you want them a little bit bigger so you can just, you know, rough chop some of these pieces and just have some, you know, bigger chunks for roasting. That's fine too. Otherwise, what you could also do is take a piece like this and use it on a grater if you wanted to shred your sweet potato. Um, I'm pretty sure that is probably all the ways to deal with sweet potato, but as always, once you kind of start to get it down to this size, you can then use your knife and you can do almost any kind of chop with it. So, you know, if it was wanting to do kind of lengthwise slices, you could do that, right? So pretty much the sky's the limit, just knowing how to get it from how I bought it at the store to how do I start to cut it down or how do I start to break it down. Okay, I think that's where we're gonna stop with sweet potato for day.